Hi, this is Peter Morgan from the DJpodcast.com. In this video in our How to DJ with Tractor Pro 2 series, we're going to be talking about sync. In this video, we're going to be going over three specific topics. Basic auto syncing, syncing to the master clock, and setting a track as the master. When we talk about sync in Tractor Pro 2, it's important that you take a look at the master clock section. You can access this by clicking on the metronome icon up on the top left. You'll see now that we have a whole bunch of different clock options, and this is what yours will probably look like by default. Okay, so let's now talk about auto syncing. This is probably what you're going to be doing most of the time if you are a new DJ that has just picked up Tractor Pro 2. Auto sync automatically assigns the master clock BPM to the deck that's set to master. For this, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that auto is set here on the master clock section. Let me show you an example. Let's say that we are playing our track on the right. You can see that master is highlighted in this deck. When we want to bring in the track on the left, we're gonna click the sync button and then press play. You can see that our track on the left has now sped up to 132 BPM. When we're all done playing the track on the right, you can simply stop it and Tractor automatically moves the master clock over to the left deck. So now if we change the BPM here, you'll see that the master clock up on the top left also changes. If we were to bring in another track on the right and now press sync, you'll see that it automatically goes to the BPM set to the deck on the left. So let's now talk about syncing tracks to the master clock. This is really important if you're syncing to another program like Machine or Ableton. For this, you're going to want to check auto off and just leave master on. This leaves the master clock as the thing that every track is going to sync to. Okay, I'm gonna now show you an example of how tracks will sync to the master clock. On the left, I've got a track that is originally at 132 BPM, and on the right, a track that's at 128 BPM. When I press sync, they're both going to go to 130 BPM. Now, if I change this value at all, both of those decks are going to change. Okay, now let's go over a third way that you can use sync, which is setting a track to be the master clock. We're going to be using our deck here on the right, which is now at 128 BPM. We're gonna start playing the track, and then we're going to click the master button. This now changes the master clock to 128 BPM, and our deck B then becomes the master clock. So if we decrease this in BPM or increase this in BPM, the master clock on the left is gonna change. If we sync our deck on the left, you'll see that it goes to 128 BPM, and any change we make affects the deck on the left. So go ahead and try out these three different modes of using sync within Tractor Pro 2. And stay tuned for more videos in our How to DJ with Tractor Pro 2 series at thedjpodcast.com. Thanks for watching.